I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 83 degrees, mostly sunny. Good afternoon, We've taken everyone. Up Welcome to the Battle of Rogers yeah, Avenue. Awesome. It's the Lady Mavs and the Lady Bears, and it is always a good game to watch, no matter how much the teams are struggling, and both teams are struggling right now. My name's Buzz Sawyer, alongside my broadcast partner and somebody you will definitely remember when it comes to Northside softball, Danessa Teague. Danessa, how have you been? I've been good. How have you been, Buzz? I've been good, but I've sure been missing you. <laughs> you are such a, you were such a great ball player here, and I remember the first time watching you and seeing you go to the dirt and dig out a, uh, I mean, a shot into, would have gone into left field, but you snagged it as a shortstop and came up and threw it like it came out of a cannon. And I'm like, my goodness, who is this girl right here? And uh, you just got better and better. Yes, I remember it. I do miss it, coming out to this game and watching them play. Yeah, and you, you went on a scholarship to Arkansas Baptist to play mm -hmm. uh, college ball. Uh, how was it when you got to school there? Was it a little bit different? Yeah, it was a little bit different. It was good, though. Um, I just expected a lot more push. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I wanted to play alongside with the best players, too, and have them push me. Right. But um, it wasn't the case. It was a good season, though. We definitely learned throughout the season how to work together. Um, so that was good. And at the beginning of the season, I did struggle a little bit. It was different going yeah. to college, you know. Um, we played a lot of non-conference games at the beginning. It did defeat us because we played some good teams. Um, but it was good. Once we got towards the end of the season, um, we started getting a lot the better. Bears, top of their first team, number 13, Amaro Green. Amaro, Amaro Green, and uh, Amaro plays. She's a speedster, too, Danessa. I don't know if you remember her from last year. They've got her leading off. Lady Bears, all visitors were at the Mavericks Field. Beautiful facility right, here. This is the first time that uh, the Grizzly Sports Network has broadcast here. And, if everybody has been so helpful, helping us get set up, and we do appreciate that. There's a shot. Oh, she, she was going to outrun that. Yeah. No question about that. That was Laney Emmert at short. That was a good play, made though. A, made a good snag there to keep it going into the left field. But Green is on with a single. Next up, Leah Burnett. That is Bella Sartin, who is the pitcher for the Lady Mavs. Leah is a junior, plays second base for the Lady Bears. I said in the opening, both teams have been struggling. Another shot to Emmert. Ooh. She makes the play at second. That's going to 
Finn Green to the dugout. She was almost there, though. Almost. And you know, talked to me earlier about this field, and you got turf, the baselines and the infield. Uh, but once you get to the outfield, it a is grass. Different. Yeah. So what is the difference there? I mean, you were saying it might be a little bit bumpy mm -hmm. when you get to the outfield. Yeah, um, it is a little bit bumpy. I don't know if it's still the same as when I played on it, but they have a lot of potholes over here in um, left field. Well, you got to watch out for that. Yeah. This and is Eden Davis batting in the three hole. Looks like our first pitch is a drop ball. The first three batters. Well, she turned on that one foul down the left field line. She just waits on a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. To be a little bit more patient. She's got a nice swing, batting number three. Takes the ball there. Eden plays first base for us. I had watched a, um, a flashback memory of us playing Conway, and I had remembered that she had hit a game-winning home run. Oh, There's a well-hit ball to left center. If it goes oh. hard, it does. That's a homer. She hits the scoreboard. So Burnett will come in. Well, so there a two it is. two-run homer, and you were just talking about yeah. the walk-off home run, and, boy, she slapped that one good. I mean, if you've got a – I mean, if you're a long ball hitter or maybe even a semi-long ball hitter, today is the day for you. The yes. wind's blowing a little bit out. It's died down since we started setting up, but it's blowing to left center. She popped that scoreboard pretty good, but that was well hit. It was a really good hit. All right, Avery Childers at the plate. She'll back clean up. Avery plays right field for the Lady Bears. Lady Bears out to a two-run lead off a home run from Eden Davis. She'll take that one low. Another hard hit to Emmert. She will get off the base there. Had to get off the base to make the catch. So children would be safe. So Laney Emmert's getting a lot of action, Vanessa, but that's usually what the shortstop gets. Yeah, especially during the north side, south side game. <laughs> little inside. One of the best plays I ever saw you make, though, was at the All-Star game in Conway. Yeah. That was that was pretty amazing. And that was on turf. The balls were taking some really weird bounces then, but you made a great judgment on one, and the throw at first was outstanding. Got to see a lot of good softball players that day, All-Stars. Yeah. Um it was a really good experience. We had the head coach at Cabot as our coach on our team. Naley Parga is at the plate. And I wonder, which I'm going to try to find out, at some point today, if she's any kin to Chewy Parga. I don't know if that name rings a bell. He was before your time, Danessa. He was a linebacker for the Grizzlies. Well, hard hit to second. That was a good play. She makes the play there. That was Callie Culverson. See, I had played travel ball with her for a couple years before I graduated. She played on the same team as me. She was about 13 playing with 18-year-olds. Callie? Yeah. She had a nice play there. Parker hit it hard. All right, two down for the Lady Bears. 
This is Addison Foster. And if anybody can jack one out of here, it's her. If she turns on it, boy, she takes a cut. I was talking to her mom earlier, saying she's struggling a little bit, just getting into trying to get, get into that groove. Yeah. There's hard hit. That's going to center. Will it carry? And it is dropped in center field. That'll score a couple of runs. She hit it hard. That's warning track power right there. Yeah, and she was even out in front of the ball a lot. And with that power that she has, yeah. she can still take it over the fence. Next batter is the left fielder number seven, Aaliyah Hamilton. Aaliyah Hamilton. Left fielder for the Lady Bears, two down. A runner at first. Outside. With the way we're hitting right now, though, she that's the best bet is to start throwing outside off the plate. On a day like this? Yeah. Yeah. When you, when you've got some, well, that's hard hit right to the third baseman. That was Nadra Ali Aditi who makes the out. But the Lady Bears scored four. Off the home run from Eden Davis to get it started. All right, so that's half of one. Let's take a 30 second break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Between life, work, and family, sometimes the person that you need to take care of the most is you. At Fort Smith Therapy Health and Wellness, you're never alone. Through our counseling, we can help you regain control of your emotions, mental health, and life. We provide both face-to-face -face and virtual therapy services. Whether it's for your child, family, or yourself, Fort Smith Therapy is here to help your true self shine through. Schedule your appointment today with Fort Smith Therapy Health and Wellness. Welcome back to the Battle of Rogers Avenue. Lady Bears up four to one after the top half of the first, or four to zero, sorry about that. Autumn Phelan will be the pitcher. Autumn just a sophomore. Very young team, Danessa. Just got a couple of seniors. Mallory Craig, Jayla Vickers, a lot of freshmen sophomores on this team so coach Walden's got a pretty good looking future yeah. now what grade is um the shortstop in and what is her name again the shortstop for us yes uh green yes she's, she's got a good arm yeah she does have a good arm she's a sophomore Lady Emmer, the shortstop, will be up first for the Lady Mavs. I played against her um, in travel ball. She likes the line on third base line. Now, she's a good athlete. Yes, she is. Looked like a good pitch to me. Maybe it was a little bit low. And I blocked out a little bit where we are from the ump. That's a strike. One and one is the count. Hmm, it's a little bit high. I think she Two had and one. Fell on the turf a little bit. If you were at bat, what are you looking for right now? What kind of pitch did you like? Your eyes got real big. So, I'll be honest, when I was watching them um, pitch against us, I really liked the low ones. The low ones? Yeah, those little drop balls get yeah. in front of the box and drive those. But they were waiting on that second pitch, and that second pitch each time was really good. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what all of them got the hit on. So, Laney, you see she's got her foot on the line. Is that considered crowding, or do you is that comfortable for you? Um, if I notice that the pitcher is pitching all outside, yeah. I'm going to get a little bit on the line. Maybe not as much as that, 
but I'll get it up enough that I can reach those outside pitches if he's calling them. Well, the full count takes the ball and she'll head to first base. All right, Callie Culverson plays second. She bat second for the Lady Mavs as a runner on first. Is the second base for six? Callie Culverson. So, Vanessa, did you watch the Eclipse? Yes. Today? Did you have your glasses on? Yes, I had right. watched it with my mom. It was it was really nice. Didn't get fully dark, but. Well, Culverson hits a little blooper over second and in short of right field, but an errant throw is going to send Emert to third base. And Culverson will go to second. You know, when you. If you end up losing a tight game and you go back and watch the film of it, stuff like that right there, that That's, really gets to yeah. you. Um, but we had had to do every time the play was over, you throw it to the nearest one. You yes. never throw across. That's Libby Prince. Libby batting third, has runners at second and third. Owen two. I'm impressed with Autumn's pitching. Just a sophomore, and she's got a little velocity on it too, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Um, she's got some good movement. One and two. I was talking to Coach a little earlier today, and he was hoping to be here. I told him you were going to be here. He was excited about that, but they, he and uh, his family watched the. Eclipse in Cabot, and there's so much traffic there was no way to get back. Struck her out on a one and two pitch. That's what we did. Nadra Al Abidi. Nadra plays third base. She's the clean up hitter, and she's got. A little bit to clean up here with runners at second and third. Got Coach Young at third. Well, that's a hard hit to third. That was Mallory with the throw. What a throw from Mallory. She looked Boy, so calm. She did. Bobbed a little bit, but no panic from Mallory Craig. Well, that was huge right there. Held the runners. Two down. Lady Bears up four to zero, but you got runners at second and third, a base hit. Between center and right's probably going to score both of them. Another strikeout would be nice right here. Start out with ball one and zero. Hard hit, short, fields it, it's out. What a great job from Green. Watched all the way to her glove. Danessa, that's what a shortstop's supposed yeah. to do right there. So that's gonna end the inning. Lady Bears up four to, D four to zero, they strand two. We're gonna take a break and come back with some more Lady Bear Magic right after this. Forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce Touchdown! and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. 
Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. <laughs> All right, welcome back to action. It is four to zero. And Autumn Phelan, our pitcher, steps in. That boy, she reaches out on an outside ball, makes contact, but she was thrown out at first. From Bella Sarton. They need to let that first one go by. It's been low every time. She's trying to get him. So, when you I guess my question is, do you always let the first one go by to get the feel, or do you, if you see what you want that first pitch, you're going to go ahead and take a cut at it? So usually what I do on my first pitch, at least what I've uh, learned in college and what I did throughout high school most of the time, is if it's not perfect, what Coach Little That's told me, if it's not well, perfect, well, don't swing at right. it. Um, so I usually, I did usually let the first one go by, but I was, I was one of them that really did like to swing at the first pitch. <laughs> nice catch. Oh, Malia Burnett. Shot to short, it's three up and three down. Not near as much success there in the top of the second as we had in the top of the first. They were all first pitches. Yeah. All right, we'll take a 30 second break and be back with more Lady Bear softball after this. REP is your trusted source when it's time for you to sell your business or if you are looking to acquire one. We offer a variety of services that help prepare your business for sale. And we also counsel and advise you every step of the way. We take pride in our experience, market knowledge, and integrity. You can be assured your business is in the right hands. Resolution Equity Partners, partnering with you now, preparing for the future. Uh, four to zero is the score. One and a half innings in the books here. Vanessa Teague, our, my broadcast partner. All-star shortstop for the Lady Bears. You have played softball pretty much as long as you could walk. Yes. So it's been such a huge part of your life for so long. And I know it's got to be tough sitting here watching I know. Right now, but uh, we do appreciate you coming in and doing the color for us. I think Ezra Phillips he is, uh, does a lot of cities, color sir. for me during basketball. He signed a scholarship with Washita Baptist, played defensive back. He may be on his way. Probably okay. get a headset on him with you here in just a little bit. City Suggs, right fielder up for the Lady Mavs. Foul, the first one off. Oh, no. One and one's the count. So I've been used to seeing Mallory in the circle. Mallory playing third base. You saw her make a nice play in the last inning. Hi there, two and one. So if you're south side, down four to nothing, you just want to try to get a hit at a time. Yes. You don't want to panic and start trying to get big numbers. Once someone starts it, usually it keeps going. So right. that's what we did um, north side. Once Eden hit that home run, they kept yeah. hitting after. Once um, someone gets that, it builds the confidence, right. keeps it going usually. And you don't want to be the last batter. Yeah. 
a little bit of pressure on you. Three and two's the count. She's got a great name, City Suggs. Yes. <laughs> I, I, it may be short for Felicity. She takes the ball there, she'll head the first. Six the catcher, number nine, Kylie Hass. All right, Kylie Hass at the plate. Lady Mavs catcher. Suggs will go to second on a bad pitch. Swing to miss. Looked like she took a little off that. Yeah, she pulled her head a little bit. Did you ever do any pitching? Yes. When I first came to Northside, um, I had pitched with Coach Kelly for a little bit, um, just JV because. Oh, Autumn lost that in the stretch. <laughs> Suggs would go to third. Two and one to count. Hard hit, foul. Right through the coach's legs. Here comes the two and two pitch to Haas. Runner at third. That'll fill it up, three to two now. No outs. That was a good pitch, a little bit high. Just barely. That's hit into second base. But it looked like it was a little harder hit than that. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was going to get into the outfield, and it didn't. The next so, one. Did she catch it? Yeah, Burnett yeah. made the catch. Okay. Second base, but it. It a little deceiving from where I was standing. I won down though. Nice job by Burnett. She's looking into the sun. No sunglasses on. And that's got to be hard. And I think all the fields, I know that the boys, the Grizzly home field, you get about this time of day, you're looking into the sun if you're in the outfield and pitchers, and it makes it pretty tough, and we're doing the same thing here. One and one. This is Abby Estep, left fielder. It's that one. Left field is going to be... A blooper in between. Oh. Short. There's the throw to home that she'll score. That was Suggs that scored, but that ball was hit right over the shortstop. And right before the left fielder could get it. That's That'd Hamilton in the left the field. Green and short. The Number seven, that was Jasmine. a good throw, though. Yeah, Just was. a little bit late. All right, and I have a question for you, Vanessa. That right there, whose call is that? Is it's that the shortstop be, or left field? It's going to be the outfielder's um, call, but that's where the communication sometimes gets mixed up when it's a short ball like that, and y'all yeah. are both so close to it. Yeah. And usually it ends up no one says anything. Yeah. When you were a senior, and, I, and you did it as a junior too, but you were pretty much in charge of that. I mean, from second base to third base from left field to center field, you were all over the place, and you it was your call. There's a fly ball to short. That's Green who squeezes her glove on it. Two down now. But Suggs puts 
The Lady Mavs on the show. It's a four to one. Lady Everett. We have a runner at second, two down. Shortstop, Laney Emmert. That's number one. But yeah, I used to watch you roam the field like that, and that ball got airborne. You were directing traffic. Yeah. Um, it's all about trust. It really is. Um, they did trust me a lot to take those balls, but in a lot of other situations, it is the outfield, like it, in college. Right. Yeah. Well, in that All-Star game, I watched you play short and I also watched you play outfield. Yes. And so there's a hard hit ball to center, and it will be snagged. As Alyssa Shaw that makes the catch. Check that left fielder. That was, that was Hamilton. That was a good hit and a good yeah. catch, too. And once it gets airborne like that, you know, the – the, I guess the wind that was here about an hour ago, mm -hmm. I'd have taken that a lot we closer to the, the fence, if not over. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. We'll come back. Four to one, Lady Bears. Consumer notice. Interest rates are at a 22-year high. To gauge the demand for lower rates, or Chevrolet of Fort Smith is holding a great percent event. 1.9% financing for 60 months on select models is in effect. New 2023 Silverado 1500. New 2023 Equinox. New 2023 Trailblazers. 1.9% financing. Plus, get over three grand in or extra value. Or Chevrolet of Fort Smith. You always get more. At Hug Chevrolet Buick GMC, we dial 7828940. This is Joe Calderera with Taliano's Restaurant. We call 7828940. Keep warm this winter with a York High Efficiency Furnace. Or for more information on endless hot water and a high efficiency tankless water heater, give Blaylock Heat and Air and Plumbing Services a call at 7828940. That's 7828940. All right, welcome back to action. Eden Davis at the plate, takes it inside, 1-0. and Eden, who's ripped a home run right into the scoreboard in left center. Her last time at bat, wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yes. 2-0. She hits this one high and into right field nice play from the right fielder that city subs who comes streaking from right field has actually hit the right center and she makes the catch next up right through number 18 Avery Childers Avery Childers right fielder for the Lady Bears I just caught the Inside part of that, or the outside part of that plate. 0 and 1. Get right to short. Throw to first is good. Emmert to Dingman for the second out. Uh, Mallory Craig third base playing third base. Two down for the Lady Bears. It's a high and outside when you go by. She likes that inside yeah. corner. Get right back to Sarkin. She turns, throws, makes the play. Three up, three down. Two innings in a row now. Lady Bears are stuck at four. 
So we'll go to the bottom of the third when we come back. Stay with us. More Lady Bear softball to come. Family. It's bigger than bloodlines. Stronger than DNA. It's the circle we draw around the people that matter. The people we care about and care for. The folks who inspire us, guide us, root for us. Family means finding common ground rolling up our sleeves, and making our way side by side. Armstrong Bank. Strength runs in our family. Four to one is the score. We go to the bottom of the third. Callie Culverson singled her last time at bat. Culverson who plays second base for the Lady Mavs. Bunts it down the right field line. Davis there to make the play. Libby Prince. Libby who bats third for the Lady Mavs. Take a strike. Bit high, Danessa. She thought about it. Yeah, she did. And I think she went. Yes, she did. <laughs> yeah, zero and two. Once you get past that, though, when your hands to uh, switch, you break your wrist. Yeah. Well, that was a nice change up from Autumn for the out. That's going to bring up Nadra Alaidi. Nadra plays third base for the Mavs. And she's got a big time swing, a lot of bat speed. Two down, nobody on for the Mavs. She has really good speed on her ball, though, for yeah. her age. Yeah. Being a sophomore, it's amazing to see some of these younger players. There's Try. a strike. Two and one's a count. Well, hard hit right outside the grasp of Mallory, so she will get the first. That's going to bring up Holly Dingman. Holly plays first. So the Mavs now has a runner on. Two down. Definitely impressed with Autumn feeling and being a sophomore and her ability to pitch like she is with the movement that she has. She's got some velocity when she wants it. Boy, she can take a little off of it, kind of leaves you hanging. Shot to third or short, that's green. 
That's a what good a, dig. What a great, dig, as you said, dig at first base. Boy, that was huge right there. Well, that's going to end the inning. So after three, four to one, we'll take a break. Stay with us. With an older car, there's so much maintenance. Knowing that my brakes are covered for life with the Golden Guarantee is a relief. I'd like to be driving this car forever, so that's why I keep taking it back to Midas. At Escape Camper Vans, we exist to make the outdoors more accessible. We have about 630 vans in our fleet. These vehicles get so much wear and tear. Knowing that there's a warranty on parts through Midas, the Golden Guarantee is so important to our business. All right, welcome back to the Battle of Rogers Avenue. It is four to one. Things could have got a little bit out of hand, but uh, Eden Davis with a great dig at first to end the inning. Got Coach Dameron here, head coach for the Maverick football team and a little representation on this Battle of Rogers Avenue from the south side of town. And Coach, first of all, I want to say congratulations on your this past year in football. Man, you guys did some cool stuff. Uh, it was fun to watch, and I, I went to the playoff game against Fayetteville, and, man, we were that close. There we go. We got uh, got the ball back with two minutes, two timeouts, and uh, down six and didn't didn't quite get it done. But uh, it was an exciting year, and what a great group of kids I had. And uh, we got about seven of them that are going to go on and play college football That's somewhere. So I'm excited about that. And. So yeah, things are uh, things are looking up, and and uh, glad to see that uh, our Southside girls here after that first inning kind of got things uh, right righted the ship a little bit, yeah. and and uh, it's been a good game so far. Well, he's tried to slow them down a little bit. They, the Lady Bears got that home run from Eden. There's a shot to short. Remember the throw to first. That'll be two down. But, yeah, they started out with a good – Lady Bears started in the top of the first. Looked like they were just going to route them. But they yeah, they banged one off the scoreboard and, and yeah. then uh, almost did it back-to-back. -back. But uh, they got some power over there on that side. They do. Hamilton at the plate now for the Lady Bears. Yeah, you talk about, you know, a good group of seniors that you had. And, you know, a lot of these north side and south side kids, they grew up playing with each other. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 I was I thought it was pretty cool when I went to the playoffs. You had a lot of north side players that were there mm -hmm. in support of the Mavericks. Ezra Phillips, yeah, you know, uh, one that has a lot of buddies yeah. that played there. And, um, yeah, Ezra, uh, you know, coming from Chaffin, and he played, yeah. played with – you know, all the Chaffin kids, you know, John Parkinson and Grayson York and, you right. know, just all of them that uh, that played on that. Like Cooper Anderson, they all played on that side of town yeah, together. Yeah, and, the north side, top of the uh, court, you know, that's where uh, now that we're in 6A, that's, you know, that's a deal right there where, you know, Greenwood has such an advantage in these other towns. They have such an advantage oh, yeah. because their kids stay together, you know, all the way through school. And, and here, you know, we split them in half. Uh, about halfway up their career, and we'd, it wouldn't it be fun to have them all together? Would but but I know fun? that's sacrilegious to say, and I get, I get that. They're, they're not going to fire me for even bringing it well, up. Well, you're actually a Rogers graduate. Oh, I know it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. also played for the Razorbacks, receiver for the Razorbacks, and uh, but yeah, it's there is definitely a line yes. here. But would not? I mean, how how cool would it be to have that much power? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? With a uh, with town this size that produces the athletes that they do, if you had them all on one team, and yeah, it would be it would be amazing. No question. Hey, uh, what, couldn't ask for a better day for this one. Oh man, did you watch the eclipse? I did. did you, you know, I was out. We we had a we had a fire drill at Southside. We got all the kids out. <laughs> Everybody had their glasses on and was was watching it. And and you know those things. I, I guess the next one's like in. 2044 or something like that. So yeah. uh, it's good to, that they, they they have seen one. Right, exactly. I sat out here in the parking lot uh, of the field and uh, watched it, and it was, it was pretty impressive. Sitting next to you, Coach, is Danessa Teague. She is uh, a graduate of Northside, played shortstop there. She was an all-star, best shortstop that I have ever seen. 
And uh, wow, she went that's on pretty high praise right there. Coach, she was something, and uh, and she's always been so uh, nice to give me interviews after games when she was playing. And I asked her this year, "Is there any way you could do some color for us?" And she said, "Definitely." But it's hard for her to sit here. You know, <laughs> she she'd like to have, you know, a jersey on. And, yeah, get and that be bat in her hand one more time. Yes. Yeah. I think we all go through that a little bit. Uh, it'll pass, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you start getting some aches and pains from it, from yeah. places you didn't know you had. Exactly. Yeah. That is for sure. But, yeah, it is a beautiful day. Wind has died down for us a little bit. There's a shot into center field. That'll go all the way to the fence. I haven't heard anything from the uh, other side over there on the baseball park. Uh, if you do, let me know. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I know we've got uh, we've got some players over there. I, I challenged our kids, uh, the football players. This, uh, I told them that Friday's workout would be optional right. if uh, they showed up at a at a uh, softball or baseball game today to support their their uh, other athletes here on, right. on campus. And and uh, you better take roll over there. Uh -oh, oh, there's oh, hard oh, hit to left field. If it, and it goes. That was a good hit. You got a little power on this side. Of the yeah, that was yeah. Suggs that hit the gapper to get to second base. And then Kylie Haas pops a home run into left field. That just changed the game. Yeah. Now we're, now it'll be the sprint for the finish line. Four to three to score. No outs. Here in the bottom this, of the This fourth. one just got exciting in a hurry. Yes, sir. That's the way it is in the Battle of Rogers Avenue. There's no really, question. Really. Never over till, till it's over. That's exactly right. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the record is or no. if one side's There's doing a lot better than the one. other, it that always just comes that. down to who wants it to once. Abby Estep, left fielder for the Lady Mavs. Yeah, I've talked to uh, a few people over the years uh, that, you know, come in and interview and, and ask me about, you know, what's it like being, uh, you know, part of now the Battle Rogers Avenue and all that. And I'm like, well, you know, I was, I was part of Rogers Bentonville back in the day. I was part of Arkansas, Texas when I was playing and, you know, and, and, and to, you know, I was, at Ole Miss when we, you know, play in Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl. And, I mean, been through some really big rivalries. And this one's as big as they get. I mean, it, it's right. just – it's the same feeling. It's the same, uh, you know, competitive competitiveness and, and also respect for the other people on the other side. Because, you know, they're just like you. Yeah, you exactly. You know, they're doing, they're doing the same things you're doing. Yeah, and I'm – you know, I've graduated from North Side. Grew up with, you know, all the South Side guys and – uh, we were friends then, and we weren't friends when we played. Sure. We were friends afterwards, and today, yep. you know, we we definitely always wish each other the best. But when it comes game time, they'll red their, wear their blue. I wear my red, and mm -hmm. it is what it is. You know, I have uh, probably I have a history you probably don't know anything don't don't know about, but my dad coached at Hot Springs High School uh, years ago uh, when Gail Condart was uh, still coaching here yeah and uh so i have i have seen my dad coach in uh what is i guess the gymnasium the old gym right uh now uh i think i saw him coach against coach condart there that is history yeah that is history you know he coached the 30 and 0 team for the 74 grizzlies that's probably the best basketball team i've ever seen assembled uh, you had Ron Brewer was part of that team. Yeah. And uh, it was amazing. Yeah, I, re I remember, uh, uh, you know, watching him play, you know, once I got to Arkansas. He was, uh, or, well, actually, it was my, I guess my senior year in high school. When he was there in 78. Uh, they went to, I think that was the Final Four team. Yeah, and he actually, I think they got beat in the semis and played uh, – Notre Dame for third, mm -hmm. and he ended up making that shot at the end. Digger Phelps said it's yep. the best shot he'd ever seen anybody make. Yep. That boot was, was definitely cool. So what do you think about the new hire? 
coach. Well, um, Calipari. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. I, I, my wife's from Kentucky, and so she has some uh, friends that, uh, of course, on Facebook, they go back and forth, and, of course, they were not happy with Calipari. Right. Uh, and she's like, oh, yeah, he's only one. play. Well, the green that goes to the a, dirt that was to make that play, play right that, there. That was amazing. She didn't get the out, but, man, what a – what a pickup there. Is yeah. was it shortstop? Shortstop. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But, and Mariah uh, Green. Yeah, we're going to find out real quick if the Kentucky people are as glad to get rid of Calipari as they say they are because it uh, <laughs> uh, depends on who they hire. But, no, I'm excited about him coming here. That's his hammer at the plate. One down for the Lady Mavs. Got a runner at first. And the score is four to three. Yeah, Arkansas. You know, I mean, I've said for years if they just you know, put out the money and try to get somebody big name that can recruit and just see what happens. And, you know, whether you like Calipari or not, he is a good recruiter. Oh, and, absolutely. Yeah, there's going to be some players come. They're going to be athletic. Mm -hmm. It'll be at it. And, and he may not have any players left at Arkansas. I don't know if there's any left. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, I, th I would imagine that he will – I don't know this. This is just me guessing. But I would think that he might enter into the transfer portal a little bit more here than what he did at Kentucky. Um, at Kentucky, he was pretty much freshman oriented all the time, and I think here he he he'll be able to get in the portal and and uh, build a team that way just as easily. Limmer takes a walk. Callie Culberson was a plate. Was a close one. Yes, it was. Our right, runners at first and second, just one down. wasn't for green we'd have runners at first and third now there's a shot in the left field as hamilton makes the out two down now prince will come to bat that's better Libby Prince who bats third in the lineup. She's got a lot of bat speed too, coach. And she does. I tell you, she if she uh, if she can get it square, uh, she can knock it out of here. Yeah, 200 down the right and left field line. 207 to center. That wild pitch is going to send runners to second and third now. We talked about this a few minutes ago, Danessa. When you watch Livy where she is, she's backed off. She's right in the middle of the box where a lot of these batters, I mean, they've got their feet right on the line. They're crowding that plate. It just depends on your your bat speed. If you can if you can drive a ball that close to the plate, yeah, it's good. But you have to swing a lot out in front when the pitches are that inside. Yeah, three and zero oh now to Livy. Now, what I know about softball, you could fill up a thumb. <laughs> but um, I do have great respect for the game because when I got out of college, my dad was a fast pitch, fastball or pitcher right. back when he was younger yeah. up in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, so he got me and my brother out to play uh, fast pitch softball. Yeah. And I've. And you can't put a bat on it. I, I couldn't hit it. No. <laughs> I could not. I, well, I, I never could hit anyway, but. I couldn't hit I couldn't hit a softball and they put me at third base. And I was like, well now wait a minute now. <laughs> no, with that coming back at me, yeah. I hear you. That lasted about two weeks and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Uh, this is the this is the young lady that will get your attention. Yes. She can turn flat turn on it. She bats clean up. Runners at second, third. All the bases are loaded now. Prince took a walk. Two this outs. is not the person you went up with bases no. loaded. No, ma'am. Well, that last one was a good pitch. I would have had a hard time laying off of that. Oh, and one. Boy, she hit that. Oh. That's, 
That could be, oh, it hits the fence. That's going to score one. Prince is going to hold up at third. So Madra will go to second. Boy, she hit that hard. I'm surprised. Yeah, that's that surprised. didn't get, out, didn't of get here. out of here. Yeah, she got I a thought lot it of was that. out. I did too. They didn't have bases loaded. I would have walked her. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, Callie Culverson up now. So the Mavs take the lead five to four. That's popped up. That's going to be out of play. And we're a little more protected over here, Dylan, than we are over at Hunts Park, Grizzly Field. There's a gap between the backstop and the, and the uh, bleacher cover. And, well, sometimes you just don't know if it's going to come down in between. You keep your fingers crossed. But we've got a tent that's got us protected now. Yeah, I feel pretty safe in here. Also, a little bit cooler in here, too. <laughs> Get out of that sun. Oh, hit right to the of the third out. That was a bullet. Boy, oh, that was hard right hit. Out. You got to watch it all the way to your glove. All right, five to four. Lady Mavs take the lead. We're going to take a break and come back with the top of the fifth. Stay with us. Whether it's record temperatures or below freezing, Ted's is here to keep you comfortable all year long. We've been in business for over 55 years, and we love serving our community. Call today and schedule your seasonal checkup so you're always prepared for what's around the corner. Ted's Air Conditioning and Heating, always ready to help. Tell us you saw Duke and save 10%. Sawyer's is about more than sunrooms, patios, and home improvement. For over 30 years, we've been about people, about our community, about you. We make quality products affordable so you can focus on making memories with those who matter most. We bring our passion for great craftsmanship and take pride in the work we do so you can count on it lasting a lifetime. Give us a call today and see the difference we can make for you. Hey, what's going on here? Here you go. All right, welcome back to action. Lady Mavs have the lead now, five to four. And our CEO has checked in to the Battle of Rogers Avenue. Well, I tell you what, yeah. I'm not going to ask what those letters stand for. I, I, don't, I don't know what you'll come up with. <laughs> kind of makes me nervous. All right, let me go back. AD, <laughs> Coach Michael Beaumont, Chief Executive Officer. That's what, what I was going to say. Tell you what, you haven't been in my office lately. If there's, if there is anybody that's in charge, it's not me. I'll just tell you that right now. Well, I don't know. I, I always seem to get the help I need. I don't know if you're <laughs> delegating or what it is you're doing, but you guys running a good operation. Now, you know, you know, Buzz, and, and to include you and Dylan and everybody else on this as I'm looking around here at the crowd today and all the people that are here and involved, we've, we've got a great community and a great school mm -hmm. district. Boy, everybody just kind of pitches in to help everybody. Now, I know you want you want one side to win today, and, yeah. and others looks like people sitting over here, they want one side to win. But uh, Well, we had, we had Coach Dameron on just a few minutes ago. Oh, good. And I uh, just wanted to. Tell him congratulations on a, on his football season. Uh, I, they they probably go back and look at that. I, I think they were a better team than Fayetteville to end up winning it all. You know, and that, that was a that was a great ball game that day. I was up there for that and, yeah. and uh, had played well. And I thought they had played well. They played Fayetteville uh, during the season. Well, Laney Emmert does a great job at shortstop. She just threw out a speedster. Right there. 
But this game is so fast, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, and think about it. Lady Bears started off in the top of the first inning. Uh, Eden Davis hit a monster home run right off the scoreboard. Uh, we're up four to zero. Man, couldn't haven't been able to do anything since. Well, I won't lie. I'm uh, I'm hoping for a uh, six to six tie. We're going to go into Extra the innings. 18th inning. <laughs> and uh, coach, we'll have to call it because of the eclipse. Burnett gets hit with a pitch. He'll go to first. So you just got a partial suntan today, huh? <laughs> That's right. I got about a 98% suntan today. <laughs> just only on one side. It was kind of a fun event today, wasn't it? Oh, that was fun. Well, I sat ahead here in the parking lot and watched it. All right, Eden Davis here has a runner at first. Two down. She needs to repeat that home run that she hit off the scoreboard in the first. And man, I'm telling you, she... She turned on it. You knew it was out as soon as she hit it. Boy, another wow. hard hit. Foul down the left field line. But you can see her bat speed there. and She gets that pitch a little bit on the inside of that plate, turns on it. She drives that ball. Yeah, and you've got a great player at third base for the Mavs. Nadra, and she almost hit it out in the last inning, hit the top of the fence. Gave her team the 5-4 lead. When as, yeah, as I, I don't know that I'd be wanting to play. I don't know that I'd want to play third base or pitch well, in, I, you know, softball like this. I was this. just about to say, if if you have not ever gone out onto a softball field to realize how close you are yeah. to that batter when you're yeah. playing inside on the diamond, that ball is on you in a minute right. now. It's on yeah. you. Oh, it is. Coach set up a, a fundraiser for uh, – I want to go to the plate one time against one of these pitchers and get, you know, a true at bat, three strikes, you're out, and we'll get some donations, all right, a hit, you know, for whatever, an out or a hit. I would, uh, I'd like to have some wager on that myself. I'd, I'd <laughs> Which like way to, are you going to go? I'd like to see this too. Well, I'm going to bet on, let's see, on your side, Tana, I'm going to bet on Miss Sherry because you're going to throw your back out <laughs> so bad when you swing right there that she, oh, there's a drive. All right wow. for Laney Emmert. That's for the third out. Emmert's been a great player today for the Lady Mavs. What a great day for ball today, oh, isn't it? Coach, it is. Get to spend a little time here today, and then going over to watch a little baseball today. Hey, have you have you seen? Are you over there earlier? No, sir. I, do you have any idea what the score is? I do not. Uh, I had a couple of meetings this afternoon that kept me in the office. This is my first stop for the evening, so I'll go okay. from here to baseball, and then back over here, and then back to baseball. The only other thing that we had going on today, uh, Northside Soccer is on the road to Bentonville West. Right. We had to push that start time off a little bit because we weren't sure what the. The traffic or the apocalypse yeah. oh, is going to look like on 49, but they were okay. They got there, no problems. Well, Coach Little and Melody uh, went to Cabot to watch the eclipse. He oh, wanted yeah. to be back today, but he said, hey, the traffic's – there's no way wow. to get back. And uh, Danessa Teague, who is – you remember Danessa? Right, yeah. She's here. She was doing some color for us, uh, and she, she'll she be back. She just has taken a little break. She was a player, wasn't she? Oh, man. Hey. And I've been quizzing her about a lot of different things, um, just trying to keep her mind off wanting to be out there, <laughs> you know. But she was one of the best shortstops I've ever seen. And getting her opinion on different plays, you know, whose call is it? Yeah. Uh, when is it your call? When is it the left field or center fielder's call or whatever? Because when she played, if the ball got airborne, they were pretty much looking for her at her Dang or right. to her for direction. Yes, you know, she's going to call them off or tell them to get it or whatever. But you know, a lot of times she'd go get it. I've seen her deep into to the outfield to make plays. Changes in the north side lineup. Park looks good. Well, here, come, here comes the big-time athlete right now. Yeah. Entering the field and playing first base, number 15, the Yelly Parga. Moving to center field will be number three. Yeah, that Parga's name now came up. For the Lady Bears, um, five, I wonder if she's any kin to Chewy Parga. Now that. Nyelly Parga was her name. And... She is a junior. 
I don't know, you, Coach, you weren't here at that time, but Chewy Parga was a linebacker okay. for Northside, and he was also a uh, place kicker, and he was an NFL place kicker. Gotcha. And, and there was a lot of blow right Ooh. over the head of Mallory Craig, who's pitching now. Well, that was hard hit, and that's what scares you, being that close. Young T, we were talking about that. I, I, I told Buzz, until you go out there and realize how close you are at third or short where you love to play and where that pitching mound, it's, that ball is on you fast. Yeah. College, they don't mess around with that. Everybody on the corners where it comes hot, they make them wear a face mask, especially the pitchers. Glad she had one on, too. You know, I think it's a smart thing to do. I, I really do. I really do. Wow. All speed. That was there. Craig. Yeah, just backed off that one a little bit and uh, caught the batter. She had to kind of hold up a little. Yes. And that's Kylie Haas who hit a home run for the Lady Mavs. Well, her eyes got big on that pitch right there. And <laughs> it was coming a little bit slower, swinging a miss there. It's funny, and that's if you're sitting on one and you don't get the pitch you want. That ball's come in, looks about the size of a beach ball coming at yes. you right there. You're thinking, oh, yeah, I can crush this, right? Yes, especially on those outside pitches. You think they're good. That's right. <laughs> until they get in there. My last at bat in a softball game, um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember. Uh... What year that was? Gosh, my math is so bad, but it's oh. a big number. I have to go pretty far back, <laughs> so I can't remember. <laughs> but um, it was uh, it was wood, my last wood bat. Bats. Was, wood bats? No, they were no, no, okay. no, no. okay. softball. Okay. And it was my last was tournament. I was done after this tournament. Gotcha. And the ump knew it, and he uh, and I, he, I'd known him ever since I've been playing. And he goes, "Is this it?" And I said, this is it. And he said, all right, last at bat. First pitch was illegal. It was too high, and it came down behind the plate, and he yelled strike. And I said, is that the way it's going to be? He said, you better swing. He better swing the bat. Next one was the same pitch, coach. I was a right – my power was to right field. And I turned on this one, and I hit this thing out of the out of orbit. And the left fielder went all the way back to the fence, and the fence was only four feet tall. It was out of Ben Garen. <laughs> he stood there up against the fence, leaned back, and I said, yeah, that's the way. And I just stood there at the plate, and I wasn't going to go. I'm just going to admire that one. And I, some, the bottom fell out of it, and this left fielder, it dropped right down on him. And I looked at the ump, and he said, that is the most majestic out I have ever seen. <laughs> and I'm like, that's it. You that's know, how I ended. So I want to get another at bat. I, I think you need another one. And that just that just really surprises me. Then you didn't ask that he would stand there and admire that because you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, you know who the ump was. It was Randa Grant's dad. Really? Yeah. Wow. Randa Grant's dad. Uh huh. See, I had my last um, play before um, in college. We were playing Pine Pine Bluff, and I was actually hitting against. Um, oh, there's a oh. shot to left field. Oh, nice snag. Good play. From Hamilton. Play. From here, they look like they're all out of they here. They do. <laughs> yes. They do. You were where? Lake Hamilton? Um, no. Um, we were playing Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff, yes. And I was actually hitting against Sydney. Um, she was a former um, pitcher for Northside. Yeah. So we got to re reunite and um, line drive right at her. Oh, did she catch it? <laughs> yes. Oh, she did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But they didn't expect me to hit the ball. I had been um, bunting all game because right. the corners were a little bigger. So I took advantage of that and tried to use my speed. It was working. <laughs> right back to the pitcher. But, I, yeah, that well, there's a change up right oh, there wow. for a strike. That pitch that way. I just want all change up, too. That has to be part of the rule for my at bat. I thought you were going to ask for slow pitch. I thought that's what you were going to ask for. <laughs> I couldn't hit a slow pitch. So is that what you were playing um, when you had your last at bat, yes. at bat slow pitch? Yeah, slow See, pitch. I played a little bit of that when I went to Oklahoma and Panama. We They still have slow pitch. I think they're one of the only states that still has it, them oh, yeah. in Georgia. So um, – 
during the beginning of the school year, we would play fast pitch in August. And then right now when it's um, – uh, fast pitch season for Arkansas, we would play slow pitch. I bet that's yeah. hard to get used to, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a lot big of a change, um, yeah. especially going from slow pitch into travel ball season. It was different. For us old men, that's the only option, isn't it? It's just <laughs> slow pitch. That that's, is the only, the option. only option. No, they that's do exactly have right. um, men's fast pitch. Um, I had a um, pitching coach when I was younger, and he had played um, Native American mm -hmm. League. They right. played fast pitch, and it was crazy. You would see 70, 80 miles per hour. Man. That's what you would call embarrassing <laughs> for this old man. That would, be, that would be terrible. Well, after five, it is five to four. And in between these, this inning, I'm going to have Cadence Fleming and Hazel Grojohn are here oh, with yeah. us. Right now, I want to get a chance to talk to them for a few minutes. They're in their off season now. They are in the off season. Uh, in fact, they were working out earlier today. I saw them. They were they were getting some hills in and some climbing up and down in the creek. I'm not sure. Maybe they were getting some water. Where right, did, right out. Where, you wouldn't right believe me, Buzz, if I didn't tell you. It was right out here in this ditch. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if they were catching fish for working out or if Coach Smith had them just on a on a different type of like all you know one of those uh, those uh, Nordic kind of workouts. Or right. I didn't know what they were doing. All right, uh, well, we'll get to the bottom of yeah, it. I think you need to. We'll get to you the kinda, bottom of it. I was I was thinking Coach Smith would love to see the video that I have I took of them, so I can't wait to share that with you later. <laughs> well, I'll sure find out about it. Childers at bat for the Lady Bears. She bats clean up. All right, we're going to get Hazley on right now. <laughs> so Hazley has joined us. There's a pop-up to right field. The City Suggs squeezes the glove on that one for the first out. Well, Mallory Craig comes up, one down. So, Hazley, what was going on <laughs> over there in the creek? It, Coach Beaumont said that y'all were doing some kind of different workout over there or something. Yo, we were we were definitely working out. Okay, were y'all fishing? Yeah, we were trying to catch some fish. Did you catch any? No, we didn't actually. <laughs> One hit my foot and I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all have been doing some shooting though, right? Yeah. Okay. Every day. Were you excited to watch the uh, Final Four and then the championship game last night? Yeah, but I wish Iowa would have won. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would, too. I, I, I felt like if they could do well enough the first three quarters and get a little bit of space that they'd, they'd have a chance because South Carolina has so much depth and it was going to be tough in the fourth quarter. If South Carolina was close in the fourth quarter, it's, it's hard to beat them. Oh, yeah. And if after the game was over, when you saw how many bench points – that they had compared to what Iowa had, it was that was the game changer. Oh yeah, it was. But when Caitlin Clark gets 18 in the first quarter, oh yeah, think, that was crazy. Here we go. I thought it was over after that. All right, Mallory with a pop up, right to first. That was Holly Dingman. Her all who gave makes a the little out. bit under it. Yeah. So I don't know if if y'all know who this girl is sitting next to me. This is Danessa Teague. She's a Northside graduate two years ago, and she played shortstop for the Lady Bears and uh, the best I have ever seen. So to have these great athletes surrounding me, this is, this is what it's all about. This is what makes broadcasting fun for me, to see all the talent that comes through Northside, and there is a lot of it. All right, this is Parga at bat, and that's going to go to – Nadra, Nadra with a good arm throws the first for the out. So we'll take a break. Stay with us. We'll come back. Three, 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 bottom four, of the sixth. Uh, Sawyer's is about more than sunrooms, patios, and home improvement. For over 30 years, we've been about people, about our community, about you. We make quality products affordable so you can focus on making memories with those who matter most. We bring our passion for great craftsmanship and take pride in the work we do so you can count on it lasting a lifetime. Give us a call today and see the difference we can make for you.
The Bears had a 4-0 to zero lead after a big top of the first, and, boy, just kind of got into a funk here. Couldn't really get any base runners, and the bat was hot in the top of the first and has not been hot since, but the Lady Mavs have put up some numbers to make it 5-4. Cadence Fleming has joined us now, so I got Hazley and Cadence with me. And um, Coach Beaumont said y'all were doing some fishing over here, <laughs> and I guess that was part of your daily workout. Yeah, every day. Every day. Go y'all, fishing in a creek. Oh, y'all yeah, do that every, every day. day. Yes, right. sir. Is that after, before or after y'all shoot? After. After? Okay. So y'all have already been in the gym today. Yes. Sir. Still working out. How long does that go? I mean, um, y'all, is it year-round when you're not – you know, when you're not in basketball season, are y'all constantly working on your on your skills? Yes, sir. We get about two weeks off after our season ends, and then we're right back in the gym working at it every day. Gotcha. Well, that's what it takes. If you want to be a Lady Bear basketball player, that is exactly what it takes. Yes, sir. Laney Emmert, shortstop, who's had a big game today for the Lady Mavs. I know Danessa's been impressed with her. That was a Pick was pretty low, and that is going to hit fair, and it's going to get past our right fielder. And that was Childers, so that will be a stand-up triple for Laney Emert. And I'm sure that the sun has a little bit to do with that. That ball was just blooped into right field, and you can tell that it had a lot of spin on it. So when it hit, it was going to kick hard to uh, Childers' left, and it did. Got got behind her a little bit, so Ember gets all the way to third. Callie Culverson will be up with a runner at third. There's a shot to first. That was Parga. Hard hit, mishandled it. That's going to score Emert. Culverson to go to first. All right, Bella Sarton, the, the pitcher at bat, swings at an outside pitch. Here's going to be a play at second. Oh. No, it was misjudged. But Culverson will stay at second. So our Lady Bear basketball team had a young team. We're going to lose a couple of seniors. Um, I know Alex is graduating. Yeah. Um, who else we have graduating? Uh, uh, Kaya. Kaya is graduating, right? And then some of our some of our managers. But for the most part, it's a young team, yep. and you guys. I know you're going to work really hard during the summer. Are y'all playing summer ball? Yes, sir. One thing that a lot of people may not know. Cadence is that, and there's a strikeout from Mallory. A lot of people that may not know who your sister is. Yeah. I don't know how we look exactly alike, but <laughs> I have questions every day about if that's my sister or not. Right. And we're talking about Kendra. Yeah. Um, so what's it like with her in such close contact with you and, you know, being a family member then also having to play? Uh, I mean, because she's going to be your coach. Yeah. Um, it's honestly great. Like, I love it. I love having that type of connection because she won't hold anything back with me. She'll give me everything that I need to hear and more. Um, uh, a lot of the times in my ninth grade year when she was first coaching me, I had trouble, like, accepting yeah. the criticism she was giving me. But now I've learned to accept that because she's only telling me what will make me better. And I've used a lot of that in my game. Right. Um, stuff that I've learned from her, stuff that she's taught me. It's just helped me build my game up a lot. Well, Burnett makes the catch there from second. Two outs. Got a runner at second. Yeah, once you accept the fact that she is your coach and all she's trying to do is make you better, then and, – and, and she is – she's hard on everybody, yeah. which is good. And I'm going to tell you something she's really good at. I get a lot of um, asked about her. She's done some color for me. Uh, with when we do a broadcast, yep. some of the boys' games, and she is so good at that. And I'll get phone call after phone call about who was that? Who was that? 
Well, that's Coach Roberts. Yeah. And she knows so much about the game, and she's able to explain it. She explains it from a player standpoint and also from a coach's standpoint. Yeah. So it's very interesting to listen to her talk as we get a strike out there. So 6-4 to four is the score. We're going to go to the top of the seventh. So we're going to have to make it happen here. So stay with us. We've got one more shot at it. We'll be right back. Sawyer's is about more than sunrooms, patios, and home improvement. For over 30 years, we've been about people, about our community, about you. We make quality products affordable so you can focus on making memories with those who matter most. We bring our passion for great craftsmanship and take pride in the work we do so you can count on it lasting a lifetime. Give us a call today and see the difference we can make for you. You're in business to do business, not paperwork. That's where the skills of Potts & Company certified public accountants can help you succeed. Trust the experienced professionals of Potts & Company for tax preparation, bookkeeping, and other business services. Using QuickBooks for your operations? They're QuickBooks experts. The Potts & Company team can help you establish, organize, and optimize your QuickBooks for utmost effectiveness. Visit PottsCPA.com to learn more. All right, welcome back to action. Addison Foster at the plate. Hard hit. Second baseman. Culverson, who makes a nice play, gets the first out. Lady Bears got to make it happen right now. Be patient, find their pitch. Aaliyah Hamilton at the plate. Swing and a miss. Down two runs. She looks at. Coach Walden says, hey, just be patient. Be patient. Just one base runner at a time. One and one. Just be patient, find your pitch. Uh, it looked inside to me, but it's a called strike. One and two. Well, he's got a check swing right back to the pitcher, Sarton. Over to Dingman for the out, so... Got to have a two-out rally here. It's hard being that last batter, maybe or maybe not. Autumn Phelan, who has pitched most of the game today, went to center field. Now she left-handed. Batting on the left side, she is. That's just popped up, and they will. Oh, little collision there between. The third baseman and the catcher. That was Nadra and Kylie Haas. Two big hitters, bat-wise. Took a pretty good lick there with each other. So we're still alive. 0-1. That pitch looked to be a little bit outside, but she took a swing at it. 0-2 now. One out away from the Lady Mavs winning this Battle of Rogers Avenue. Just one hit at a time. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Boy, that's hard to do. Yeah, it is. 0-2, two, two down. Especially in this situation. Yes. Most would think it's better to swing than to let it go by. Uh, she let that one go by, and that's going to end the Battle of Rogers Avenue. Lady Mavs will win it 6-4. to four. But it's been a beautiful day. Yes, a historic yes, day with the eclipse, and I hope everybody's eyes are okay and nobody looked into the sun without the protective gear. 
I knew that both teams were scheduled. Vanessa, thank you. Tomorrow. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. You are so good at uh, understanding the game, but you have played it your entire life and getting your perspective as a uh, somebody that's watching from a commentating standpoint has really been fun and I know that it's hard for you to watch but <laughs> it is so means so much for our viewers to hear somebody that knows the game as well as you do explain a lot of what's going on to us. I hate that it ended up like it did but again it's 6-4 loss in the Battle of Rogers Avenue it's supposed to play again tomorrow but I, I'm thinking now that it's probably going to get rained out. Yeah um, it was a good game though they could have held that that four runs yeah. that they got at the beginning and kept that motivation. I think that they would have been good, but um, you can't slow down. Once you get all those runs, you have to do the exact same yeah. thing the next inning and um, keep that motivation going throughout the game. It's hard to, though. Exactly. Well, the next time we play will be at home. And, again, it was supposed to be scheduled for tomorrow, but I think it will be rained out. I, I talked to – uh, one of the coaches earlier about the potential of that game being canceled and what happens. And they want to try to make it up as fast as they can because they are in conference now. Yeah. So there may have to be a, you know, a, a three-game week coming up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we know, we'll let you know. But that will wrap it up from the Battle of Rogers Avenue. Thank you to Coach Dameron, head football coach at Southside, to come in and give us a little perspective on that side. Appreciate Hazley and Cadence spending some time with us. Coach Beaumont, I know Ezra was going to be here at some point today, but uh, he is working out right now trying to get ready to go to Washita Baptist. He has been recruited as a defensive back, so we're looking forward to his career next year. And uh, also, as always, Dylan Abbott, who is our general here, does a great job putting all this together and this is the first time we've ever broadcast from this field so trying to figure out you know what we can do and what we couldn't do from here was a little bit of a challenge today but thanks to everybody here that uh helped us out we do appreciate that Again, the lady bears will lose this one six to four uh thank you to uh D andy who was down the left field line with his camera brandon who was out in center field and so we will We'll be somewhere tomorrow, more than likely. If it doesn't rain, we'll be doing broadcast for the uh, the Grizzlies and the Mavericks, which will be at home at Hunts Park. So all depends on the weather tomorrow. So we'll see what happens when we wake up then. But I'm Buzz Sawyer saying so long alongside my broadcast partner, Danessa Teague. We'll see you tomorrow. Go Bears.